Hello. How are you? Thank you for joining me today. I've got something exciting going on today. Basically, two years ago, Jackie Todd went to the supermarket in Britain. And now I, two years later, I'm going to watch it all the way from Indiana just to see what it was like. Um, go shout out to Jackie Todd. Go check out her channel link down below. I'm very just interested comparing it to an American supermarket. See what kind of products she buys. I assume she's British. Don't know for sure yet. Let's see. Doggo. Tea. Now, why, why is she making it with that instead of the microwave? I'm just kidding. That's a cool uh, tea cup. Okay. Guys, this is an epic intro, but it's really not what I'm here for. I might skip to the, sh the, the market part. We're going shopping at Asda today, which is a supermarket. We usually either shop here or at Morrison's. Also, something to note, it's not So it's like Aldi or something, huh? Like a budget supermarket. Okay. I like I love Aldi. Not called a grocery store in England, but a supermarket. It's not called a grocery store. I turned her up. It was quiet. There are a number of You can't call it a grocery store, but you can I mean, we call it a supermarket too, just also a grocery store. But okay, 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 gotcha. Would you call it groceries? Are you are you going grocery shopping? Or just the word grocery just not That's just not a word in Britain. England, but a supermarket. There are a number of things here that have different wild rock names, which confused me a lot when I first moved. Oh, this is an American girl. Got it. Move arugula is called rocket. Eggplant is called aubergine. Zucchini is called courgette. The baked bean section in pretty much any supermarket is quite big. And that That's all pretty strange. I never knew. It's almost like a different language, you know? The baked bean section. I usually think of, you know, in Britain, everything is pretty much the same words. And in pretty much any supermarket. It's all English. Supermarket but... is quite big, and that's because baked beans on toast is a popular breakfast. I assume those words for those those things are like they're authentic from wherever they were originally from or something, those names. Food here. I'm sure a lot of you know this, but potato chips are called crisps in the right. UK. There are a ton of different brands. And those look awesome. Space Raiders beef potato chips? Flavors that are different, including prawn cocktail. Skips. Often they'll come in these multi-pack bags where there are a bunch of little bags within a larger bag. I'm sorry, what's a prawn cocktail? Often there's a ton of different brands and flavors that are different, including prawn cocktail. That's a flavor? Often they'll come in these multi-pack bags where there are a bunch of little bags within a larger bag. Oreos come in packages like this. They taste the exact same though. I wonder why that is. Why would they package them differently in over there than here? Instead of pulp or no pulp, the orange juice comes with bits or with no bits. Eggs aren't <laughs> I love that. refrigerated in the supermarket. They're kept that. on just a regular bits. shelf. Squat I don't do bits in my orange juice. This is a very popular type of drink. To be honest, it still confuses drink? me and I'm not 100% sure what category this falls into, but here's an example. Is it orange and pineapple? Squash. That is confusing because of the, you know, the vegetable squash. Or do you guys call that something else? Maybe she already said that. The checkout so looks it similar. It is the next day. It got a little bit too dark to keep filming, but I okay. do want to show you guys some of the things that I got. I'm not going to show you absolutely everything because that would get pretty boring pretty fast. So I'm just gonna show a few select things that I are disagree. particularly British or that I think are interesting okay, or kind of different. First thing I wanna talk about is the lemonade. Diet lemonade. This is lemonade no in the way. UK. It is clear, it is sugary, it's not super tart. It's a lot more sweet than the lemonade that we're used to. I mean, this in particular is diet lemonade, but it's the same thing when you get regular lemonade. It is that empty? It looks empty. If you want the kind of tart, lemony, homemade lemon. It looks like a water bottle. Lemonade thing that we're used to in the United States and Canada, you have to ask for cloudy lemonade. So I was a little bit surprised when I ordered lemonade it's in a restaurant empty. for the first time and this clear liquid showed up. One of the saddest things about my life here. It's just kind of confusing. I mean, lemonade is pretty clear. It's definitely more cloudy here in America, but. We just, we color it yellow so you know it's lemonade, like a lemon. 
Seeing it in that packaging is just bizarre. Is that I can't get ranch dressing. There are some stores that do sell it, like specialty stores and things like that. You gotta go try ranch if you if you don't know, if you haven't tried ranch. You dressing. Ranch. There are some stores that do sell it, like specialty stores and things like that. I haven't been able to find any and I have ordered online, but it is just so expensive. But I have found a pretty good- I'm a little distracted by the handle on this door and the light switch. They're just different. They look, it looks like an exterior door handle. Good alternative. It's at Asda where I went. It's Newman's own ranch dressing and dip. Mm. It's not the same as Hidden Valley, but it is okay. Like it is a good second. <laughs> I kind of mentioned this. Hidden Valley needs to expand. Earlier in the video, but this Go is how Oreos are packaged. So this is a twin pack, which means that there's a row here and a row here. The taste is the exact same. I kind of prefer the packaging in the US and in Canada because I feel like it just keeps the Oreos fresher, but like this is fine too. Yeah, I mean here in America, the package is such that, I don't even know how it works. It's like got stickers on it. You open it and then when you close it, it's sealed back shut just with a flap. So us Americans can open the whole thing, grab like 10, oh, and then all in one go. My absolute favorite snack in the UK, Hobbs. hobnobs. Basically it's a biscuit and then it's got chocolate. Now when she says biscuit, I don't know if she means UK biscuit or American, it's gotta be like a cookie, right? It's a, it's a, it's a British biscuit. Over the top of it is so good for hobnobs. dipping in coffee or just like eating on its own. Pretty much any time I go to the supermarket, I'll buy hobnobs. I love them. Similar packaging to the Oreos. Maybe you guys just like packaging cooking. Maybe that's why. The cookies just, or the biscuits. All right, is an Oreo a biscuit? That's an interesting question right there. Is an Oreo a biscuit in the UK? but they seem to be packaged like this. So maybe Another that's favorite why. of mine that we get pretty much every time we go to the supermarket is crumpets. This is very, very oh. different than our idea of what a crumpet is in- It looks like an English muffin, which my, maybe that's what a crumpet is. Maybe that's what an English muffin is, is a crumpet. The United States. It's basically like a, like a squishy bread. It's got holes in it. it so it's kind really of like fluffy good. and light and you can just heat them up, like put them in the toaster or anything like that. I do something which is a little bit blasphemous, but uh -oh. I love it. I'll put maple Peanut syrup butter? on the top of it, which is definitely the Canadian in me. It is mm. so good. If you oh, she's Canadian, not American, maybe. I tried it, like honestly try it. Apparently. And last but not least, I found this and I haven't actually tried it yet. A vegan pasty. I've had a vegan pasty in town, but I've never seen them in the grocery store. So basically you just heat this up. You cook it, I believe, but it's made out of corn, which is like a really typical, um, like fake meat kind of thing. Corn is a fake meat. It's used here. It's a very popular brand. So I got one of those for me and then I got one for Danny, just a regular Cornish pasty with meat in it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know why I'm so I don't know what a pasty is. One for Dan. I can barely see it in there. It's got meat in it. Regular Cornish pasty Sounds with good. meat in it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know why I'm absolutely- I mean, I, I gotta look this up. Pasty. What the heck? Oh, it's a meat pie type thing. Of course it is. Cool, cool, cool. I see now why that why she's saying it's vegan or hers. So it's not stuffed with meat, it's stuffed with corn. I got it, I gotcha. And you just a regular Cornish pasty with meat in it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm absolutely obsessed with pasties. Um, pretty much anytime I leave the house, I make an excuse to get a pasty. I love them and they're so mm. good. So hopefully these are also good so I don't have to. Is there a difference between a pasty and a meat pie? Constantly leave the house to get my pasties. Probably, Obviously huh? we got a lot more things, but I didn't want to show absolutely everything. It looks like a taco meat pie. Thank you guys for joining me on this video and for it watching it. I hope that it was interesting. That was interesting. Thank you very much, Jackie Todd. <laughs> I'm English and I love visiting supermarkets in other countries, so I was intrigued to see what you made of Asta. <clears throat> it was cool to hear your thoughts. Yeah, go check out her channel, Jackie Todd. Link down below. That was cool. A little virtual trip to the supermarket. I, I love it. Um... Yeah, that's all I got today. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I'll see you tomorrow.